singer, songwriter, superstar Stevie Nicks is getting a little restless these days. The pandemic has put performances for large audiences on hold so she's waiting to take the stage again, and, as she told, CBS Sunday Mornings, Tracy Smith last week, the waiting is the hardest part. It seems like, for so many creative people, this is a very creative time. But, also, time is slipping away, Smith said to Nix. Time is being stolen from all of us, Nix said. Absolutely. Especially if you're 72 years old. Does that weigh on you? Smith asked. Yeah, it does, Nix said. When you're really working, you really stay young. You stay young because you have to. But, when you're just sitting around in your house, I think that old man time starts to get a hold of you," the Fleetwood Mac singer continued. Still, it seems that old man time has always been kind to Stevie Nicks. You can see it in her just-released feature film, 24 Karat Gold The Concert, where she looks and sounds pretty much the same as she always did. The movie will stream soon, but for the moment it's being shown in socially distanced theaters. It's as close to a really big rock and roll concert in a big venue as you're gonna get, Nix said. And it's not the only way Stevie is making herself heard these days. She decided to release her first new song in six years, Show Them the Way, as a call for action on the eve of the election. And now, some of her classic tunes are suddenly climbing the charts again. Thanks to a cranberry juice-loving Idaho skateboarder who went viral after posting a video on TikTok featuring Fleetwood Mac's, Dreams. So four decades after, Dreams, and, Rumors, came out, they're both in the top 10 again, Smith said. I know, Nick said. The video has inspired quite a few imitators, including bandmate Mick Fleetwood. And last week, one from Nick's herself. This TikTok thing has, kind of, blown my mind," Nix said. And I'm happy about it because it seems to have made so many people happy. You could say making people happy has been Stevie Nicks calling for the past 50 years or so, and after a career of platinum-selling albums and sold-out concerts, she became the first and, so far, only woman to be inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame twice. It's 22 men that are in twice for their solo work and being in a big band, Nix said. And no women. Until you, Smith said. Until me, Nix said. So I feel that I definitely broke a big rock and roll glass ceiling. And her backstory is just as legendary. When young Stevie dropped out of college to chase her musical dreams, her parents cut her off financially. So she waited tables and cleaned houses to support herself and her then-boyfriend, guitarist Lindsey Buckingham. Were there moments when you were cleaning, I mean, you were like cleaning houses, what, scrubbing toilets, mopping floors? Was there a moment when you thought, ooh, I made a mistake? Smith asked. No.